Ever changing plan is causing stress for parents. KCCI's Laura Terrell talked with several of them about their concerns. Laura? Yes, perhaps the biggest impact is on high school students and their parents because they might be going online 100% of the time because district leaders say it's not safe to bring them back into the building. An odd offshoot is. These Des Moines moms had a lot to say during their Friday evening neighborhood happy hour. This is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge for all parents, particularly working parents. All of them are trying to balance the health and safety of their children in high school and in middle school. I had my our high school freshmen signed up to do the hybrid, which was just going to be one day a week. I think face to face time is very important. But face to face learning for Des Moines high schoolers might not happen at all if the district's new plan is approved. I actually applaud um, Superintendent Ahart for, for trying to do the right thing you know, regardless of what the governor has to say. In a perfect world, we would be able to have just tiny pods and have a lot of outdoor space and they could go to school. Tanya Swanda is a mom of seven and a teacher. You just worry. I mean, who's going who's gonna to get it? You know, the worst fear you have as a teacher is that something's terrible going to happen to one of your students. Tracy Amos is the mom of a high school senior at Lincoln. She isn't happy about going all online. Even if they only get to go one day a week, then they are making that relationship with the teacher, which I think is important. Amos says she knows the district's hands are tied and understands safety has to come first. I don't want to test my kids out to see what happens if they get it. If they get the, the virus, what if my child is the one who dies? And all these parents have a lot of questions about if they go 100% online, what does that mean for activities? What does that mean for sports? What does that mean for homecoming? A lot of questions right now that no one has the answer to. Reporting live tonight, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.